guys, welcome back. Today I want to introduce you guys a special guest with me. I have uh, yeah, introduce yourself. What's going on, guys, or ladies and gentlemen, fish of the jury? This is the Croc Vec TS Vector, whichever one you want to call me. And I'm joined here with Xenon today. Uh, this is kind of on behalf of PMP Beta. We are going to be, well, I and he, him watching me are going to bring you a tutorial. Uh, there have been several made on how to set up Desmume Wi-Fi. Uh, there is a reason that we are bringing this tutorial to you, and Xenon's going to go over that with you. Yeah, because uh, we we know that there's lots of showdown battlers out there that people that have but they don't you know lack equipment to actually provide Wi-Fi battles. So that's why we kind of felt like this tutorial would have really helped people out because all they really need is a computer and you know enough power, enough juice to actually make it work. And uh, actually, a vac here actually knows how to work with it. I have absolutely no idea because I tried it once, but <laughs> it didn't really work my way. Now, believe me, there's been quite a few people that have done this tutorial, so in no way are we trying to rip anyone off. But the first thing you need to know before you get started, and uh, of course branching this whole Wi-Fi thing out, I have a tutorial on my channel, and I'll go ahead and walk through it here if need be. Uh, to set up any of the older generations on Wi-Fi because we're looking for Wi-Fi. Um, unless, you know, Showdown's really crisp and clear. Every now and again, Showdown submissions are very nice. They're good from the bog standard. Um, but we are definitely looking for Wi-Fi battles. So today, uh, the first thing before we get started with the Desmume Wi-Fi, you have to have an Ethernet connection. Whether you Ethernet from your laptop to your router, or if you're like me and you're hardwired, uh, that is even better. Now, these two files, ignore everything else on my messy desktop, and pay attention to these two files. I'm going to bring them over here to the middle. And what these are, these are the Desmume pieces. This is the Wi-Fi replacement, the firmware replacement, and this is the emulator. Now, I've already done all of this, so we're just going to go through the motions. These two uh, RAR files will be in the description below. So, of course, you're going to want to extract these into their own folder. And that's going to take a moment. And basically what you'll get when you extract that is you're going to get this right here. Now when you open this, the very first thing you're going to want to do is install WinCap. WinCap is the uh, Wi-Fi that actually connects your, your uh, Ethernet into the Wi-Fi. Okay, so you're going to want to install that. You'll just install it. You'll go through the prompts. Okay, uh, This used to work a long time ago. But uh, this was taken down uh, some years ago, but apparently it's back up. So you're going to install WinCap. And once you've done that, you'll know it works because it'll appear in your start menu. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is just not uh, working with me today. Now, the biggest thing uh, the first time is it is automatically going to fail. What you're going to do once you install WinCap is you're going to want to go into the settings and make sure it's this bottom one, the X64 release Wi-Fi. You're going to get a command prompt right here. And it's going to tell you that it loaded and initiated and that SoftRast has initialized. And then you're going to get this little window. Now, this is where you set to read your um, Ethernet. You're going to go to Control and Wi-Fi settings. And this is where this next part is going to come into play. When you get to this menu, which for whatever reason it's taking forever, <laughs> uh, probably because I'm screen sharing so I can show Zen on exactly what I'm doing, but uh, yeah, here we go. This is your first menu. This right here is your bridge network adapter. Make sure this is your Ethernet controller. Whatever your Ethernet controller is on your computer, do you notice here I have the Komodo, Hamachi, and Realtek? This is my Ethernet controller. Make sure that is selected in the drop-down and make sure infrastructure is clicked. Okay. Now, the next step is you're going to want to minimize this. And this right here... I believe it's in the firmware folder. Is it in the firmware folder? You're going to want to extract the firmware replacement folder as well. But uh, the next step is you're going to have to exchange a couple of files, and you're going to have to redo the location of those files. Okay, it is not this folder. It is the first folder, the WimCap folder. And what this has in it is it's got BIOS files. And these BIOS files, you have to select them as a directory. Uh, I'll show you where they are first off. They're down here, BIOS 7 and 9. Ignore that they're Power ISO. Uh, that's going to happen if you have Power ISO on your computer like myself. 
But uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your firmware settings. No, not your firmware settings, your emulation settings. I got that backwards. Haha! This ARM 9 and ARM 7 BIOS images, these should match exactly with those BIOS images. Let me say that again. When you click this drop down click, these right here are going to be your BIOS images. Make sure BIOS 9 is lined up with BIOS 9 and BIOS 7 with BIOS 7. And your firmware image is just your default firmware image in the emulator, which is that right there. Okay? Now what you're going to do now is you're going to turn it on. Let's say you're testing a game like Black, Black 2, and you're going to test the Wi-Fi settings. I'm not going to go through the motions because once you get this set, you do not want to clear these Wi-Fi settings. It, it, it can mess everything up potentially. Uh, the only potential issue you may have is if you have, like me, and you have Komodo Unite or you have any other kind of VPN connector, make sure when you go on your Wi-Fi that this does not click back to anything except this infrastructure. If this for any reason goes back to Komodo or Hamachi or any other VPN that you have, you will not be able to connect. Now the very first time that you go onto your Nintendo Wi-Fi settings, which we can go through those motions I suppose, we'll just open Black 2 and uh, we'll go like we're going to set up Wi-Fi like you're doing on your DS. And when you get to that point, whenever Black 2 decides to load, Xenon, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, probably always think that. I blame well, screen share, but, but, but that's okay. I, I blame screen share, but that's all right. All right, now that Black 2 is going to be really slow for me right now, but that's okay. Uh, again, it's all Xenon's fault. Uh, when it does load, there it goes. You're going to go to your basic Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. Now, the very first time that you do this, it's going to look quite a bit different. Um, when you see my screen, it is already configured for the second time that I do it. And it's just one little quick switch. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's going to be really slow. Now, if for any reason, like I said, if you do not have Ethernet, if you are not wired by your laptop to your router or your desktop to your router, this will not work. There is another way to do it wirelessly, but it is very complicated. And I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, so basically, another thing, um, if you guys don't have Wi-Fi, let's say that uh, a lot of people have this scenario, right, Xenon, that they have the game, but they can't record it. They don't have a webcam. They don't have... That's fine. Battle someone and let them send you their side and then commentate it for beta and send it to us. That's no problem. That's still Wi-Fi. But... Camera quality is fine as long as, well, it has to be at least visible. I, I, I do remember back in Diamond and Pearl days when everybody recorded via webcam. Good times. Okay, Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. And when you go in here this time, there's going to be three settings. And that's, like I said, because I've already replaced my firmware. But the very first time, it's only going to have one setting. And it's going to be defaulted. Notice how all three settings are set up right now. On this first time, connection one will be the only one. And you'll go to connection one and test the connection. And you're going to be like, oh, cool. It's working. I got green. It's going to work. But it's going to fail. It is going to fail the first time automatically. Um, and that's just because there's something in the firmware replacement that enables the Wi-Fi to actually read your DS. It's going to go just like that. It's going to go full all the way across. Now, mine's probably going to run fine, but... Yeah, mine's going to run fine. That's what it's going to do the second time. So, so that's, that's the good notion. But to get to that second time, all you have to do... Since I've already showed you the interface of how that's going to look, you can close this slow 3, uh, DS emulator. And you see this Wi-Fi replacement? You're going to want to extract that to a folder. And do you guys remember when we were doing the BIOS images and I told you to put your default firmware in that location? All you're going to do, once you get this uh, extracted here, the only file in here is the firmware file. Guess what you do with that? You're going to drag and drop and replace and boot the DS simulator back up, run Wi-Fi, and you're good as gold. That's it. That's how you do Desmume Wi-Fi. Um, just do it on the battle recorder and then screen record it. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Using Camtasia. Yeah, any any program will be fine. Um, 
But yeah, I do have a good tutorial on my channel, but Xenon wanted to bring this to his channel because, you know, you guys watch Xenon. And now yeah. you have this video that has Xenon and Vector in the same video. It's kind of I was scary. just being quiet because I was kind of learning from you here. I was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, it, it's interesting. Some people do tutorials, but some people are a little bit more complicated in explanation, and some people are a little bit more simplistic. So, there you have it. That's how you set up Desmume Wi-Fi, uh, if you have an Ethernet connection. If you are interested, there is a video on YouTube to show you how to do it with a, wired, a wireless connection. It is not my recommendation, because it requires using a virtual box, which allows you to emulate a PC. Like, you've got your PC that you're on, you'll emulate another computer completely, yeah. and you'll emulate a Windows XP uh, a disk, and you'll go through a lot of settings, and it'll force it like it's wired. And essentially, you'll use the virtual PC to play the, the Nintendo DS emulator, if that makes yeah. any sense at all. I'm using that for my Wi-Fi uh, dongle, uh, because it, the drivers, it doesn't work on Windows 7. No, so it doesn't. XP. Yep. So yeah, that's how you set it up. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or Xenon. Uh, yeah, we'll leave him in the description, guys. So go check him out. He brings some great videos, so definitely check. All right, that's it. You know the rules. Okay. Signing out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up. Peace out. Objection. And find the computer room.